Hearts. Welcome to all my new subscribers. My name is Anna Marie and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a really simple healthy Mexican chopped salad. Okay that's what um, <laughs> it's being called because there's like cumin in there so it's like taco-y so I'm calling it a Mexican chopped salad um, and I'm actually adding Costco rotisserie chicken into the salad. So this one is not vegetarian or vegan friendly. It could be if you don't add the chicken though. So without further further ado let's get into this recipe because I know you guys want to see this one it's so so good so tasty Woo! let's go all right you guys so for this recipe you're going to need your olive oil your leftover Costco rotisserie chicken or if you're vegan or vegetarian you don't need chicken you need the juice of lime so you can either get this or you can just get regular limes and juice them you need some kind of corn. I like the fire roasted corn blend. You need, you don't need any kind of greens, but I'm having baby spinach because I really want to put my chopped salad like with some spinach this week for lunch. You need some black beans. They can be any kind of black beans you want. Rinse them, strain them. You're gonna need your Rotel diced tomatoes and green chili. You know, this is my stuff right here. This is my favorite. You're going to use half of an onion. And yes, for my friend that wants me to show you how to cut an onion again, in Anna's way, I will show you. <laughs> You're going to need cumin seed. You're going to need either fresh avocado or what I do is I just get one of these uh, little holy guacamole minis so it doesn't brown on me and then I take it to work and then I'll put it on as I go. And some kosher salt and some pepper. But my pepper is very, very little, so I'm probably going to use, like, some spices. Like, maybe crushed red pepper. Okay, and then you need red, green, and yellow bell peppers if you want. It's, I would say green and red for sure, but this one doesn't even have green. So just get a variety and chop them up. Alright, so let's get it going. Alright, so... For my friend who uh, wanted me to show them how I did the onion again, you just take your onion, and this is the way I do it. I cut the front end off. Some people leave the back end on. They say that it's easier to cut, blah, 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 blah. I cut that shit right off, okay? Next thing I do is I kind of boop, and I take the very outer layer off. Some people say that's a waste of onion. I say it's onion. Okay, save that piece, throw this away right away. And I'll show you what I do so it doesn't stink up my apartment because apartment living, you know. <laughs> I always keep a stash of bags. So I just put this all in here, in the bag. Okay, put that aside. Let's cut our onion. So the first thing I do is I just start kind of cutting it down. But when you cut it down, don't cut it all through. Okay, I don't know, can I show you that better? Don't cut it all the way through. You see how far I'm going? Don't cut it all the way through. Okay, now when you get to this middle part, this is what's gonna make you cry. But if the faster you cut it, the faster you perfect this technique, you ain't gonna cry. Trust me, trust. I never used to like to cut onions till this, see? Now you're gonna do it the opposite way, okay? You're gonna have it like this. Cut it the opposite way. But do not cut it all the way through. Again, do not cut it all the way through. Out for now. I'm almost done. Okay. It'll squeak at you a little. You'll still smell the onion, but it, you ain't going to cry. I promise you, you will not cry. There we go. So this is how they cut it at Outback Steakhouse. And then you can, like, leave it like this and, like, put your seasonings in there and fry it. Um, take, like, the middle part out, like, here. Like that. And then you can cut it up and fry it like a blooming onion. But we're not going to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut it. See? And 
it just cuts so perfectly okay now you got these at the end now you can cut them up if you want to I just discard okay we don't need all that put them in a soup stock okay and then you're done all right so let's cut our little peppers up These are pretty little, so they're just going to have that little baby bit. Just take it off, throw it right into your garbage disposal. Okay. These aren't spicy. They're actually pretty sweet. See that? Just has that little baby bit. Just take it off and put it in your garbage disposal. Beautiful. Look how beautiful they are. Beautiful. We're going to do that for all of these. Look, you can even do it like this. See? Okay, so the size that we want is... We want it, we want to cut them up, and we want to cube them. This is a chopped salad, so you really want them to be nice and small. Okay. Okay. So do that with all of them. Alrighty, so let's make our sauce for our salad. The first thing we're going to do is a half cup of water. We're going to just put it right in the mason jar. A couple squeezes of our lime. It's really as much lime as you like. We're going to have... One fourth teaspoon of cumin or more if you like. We're going to have a nice pinch of salt in there. We're going to put a little bit of crushed red peppers. Okay, now we are going to have some olive oil, just a couple tablespoons. It's probably good. Okay, then we're going to add in our guacamole. I'm going to use the one that we already got dirty. Put that in there. Hopefully this little mason jar is big enough. Great. Put the lid on. And shake it up. Look at that. This is going to be our dressing for our chopped salad. Give it a taste. You first. It needs more salt and lime juice. More lime juice. Oh, look at me making a mess. Let's shake it up. Jesus. Let's try it. It is perfect. Mmm. 
that's delicious you guys let's just I'm gonna rinse this off all right so there is our dressing set that to the side and let's continue all right now go and get yourself a big ass bowl big ass bowl okay and we're gonna start putting our ingredients in here's our tomatoes a rotel tomatoes our black beans our corn <clears throat> our pepper mix our let's do our onion remember to only use half okay make a little well And you got two cups of chicken that we're adding in here. Costco chicken. Look how beautiful that is. Okay. I don't know how well we did on the big ass bowl part, but we need a bigger ass bowl. All the chicken. <clears throat> we'll use about half of that. Get you your big ass bowl lid. Shake that shit up. You want to shake it like a Polaroid picture. Okay. Mix it all up. I have faith that you guys can do it. Look at that. It's a good arm workout. All right. Woo! Look at that. That's your chopped salad. No, not you. There we go. We got a nice chopped salad, you guys. Yum. So now I'm going to plate what I'm going to take for lunch tomorrow. There's my bowl. Get you your Costco spinach open. Right. Oh, Lord Jesus. I'm so sorry I dropped you guys. Sorry about that. So I'm going to just take my spinach like this. I'm going to take my scissors and chop them up a little bit. You could do this on your cutting board or you could be lazy and chop them up like I do or like I am. I don't always do this obviously, but yeah. Chop it up. Right, so I chopped up my spinach. It's about two cups, maybe three cups of spinach. <clears throat> and then I'm going to add in my mix. What I like to do is I like to measure it by cup. Okay. So I'm going to put a cup in there. How about two cups? Okay. You have two cups in here 
This is going to be my salad for lunch. Look how amazing it looks. I'm going to bring this with me, so I'm just going to drizzle it over my salad, um, and it's going to be pretty, pretty amazing. So check that out. I'll, I'll figure out the macros for you guys and put them in there. The only other thing I want to do with this, and don't mind my spinach stems all over. I'm just going to put them in here because I'm about to eat them anyway. I'm just going to put some more crushed red pepper on top because why not? Whoop. So there you have it. There is my lunch for the week. This is my little QVC bowl and we'll figure out how many calories it is. All right, my kettle bugs, so you saw the recipe, you saw how amazing it looks. So the next thing is you need to go make it, okay? And you need to take it for your lunch, for work, or have it for dinner, or for your snack, or whatever you wanna do with it. You gotta give me a big fat thumbs up. You gotta like me, right? You gotta follow me, you gotta subscribe to me. Come on, you guys. Let's get to 2,000 subscribers so I can do a double giveaway. Uh, yes, I'm so excited. I hope you like this recipe and until next time, bye.